well, as they interpreted Anakin as the legit chosen one of the prophecy because he, technically speaking, got the uh, amount of Jedi and Sith down to equal numbers at the end of the prequels. If there was a misunderstanding, that's due to Lucas's confusing prophecy he poorly explained. Even still, I don't see where the point of The Last Jedi has anything to do in discussing the interpretation. Well, well, well. Why would you blame George Lucas for the prophecy? Listen here, you. Luke was betrayed on the deepest level. He was just a kid, and he almost killed him. And I thought I was ready to kill somebody when I'm hungry. Mm, why waste the character like Finn? He could have done so much, but you regulate him to just, uh, Ray. Claiming he poorly explained it when it was clear as day in the prequels, Anakin was the chosen one to bring balance to the Force. And what do you think happened at the end of Return of the Jedi? Vader was the one who threw Palpatine down, thus fulfilling his destiny. Meaning... Shush. You are objectively wrong. Why else would it be Vader to do it? After all, he fell. That means the prophecy was clear as day. Disney were the ones who messed up. And George stated it's like poetry. It rhymes, which it actually does. Cinematic storytelling. That's due to Lucas's prophecy he poorly explained, quote unquote. Uh, no. That's due to you and you alone speak for yourself, not understanding what he laid down in the films. Don't blame George Lucas for what you did not understand. All you had to do is pay attention. If you see the ending of Revenge of the Sith, then go back and see the ending of Return of the Jedi. The prophecy is easy to understand, and it is fulfilled as the following. Anakin is the chosen one who will bring balance to the force he falls from grace however he is the one in the end who threw palpatine down how is that hard to understand george lucas even stated even when he became vader he's still the chosen one confusing prophecy my butt more like you're confused so let me get this straight blurry films and sequel fans you don't see how the last jedi has to do with discussing the interpretation of this concept let me ask you this question why in the world is kylo going on and on about killing the past <laughs> the original trilogy let it all die kill it if you have to only to claim that the jedi the sith let it all go ray only for this hypocrite sorry kylo you're an underdeveloped better anakin my butt only for this hypocrite to turn around and rejoin the First Order as its leader. So what was the point of Kylo saying all of that? Given they laid all that down, you don't see how The Last Jedi has to do with discussing the interpretation of this concept? That's what The Last Jedi was directly tackling. How could you not see that? Sequel fans do this all the time, blaming Lucas for what Ryan and the sequel's fandoms lack of understanding. After realizing that Ryan Johnson has no understanding of the very concept he tried to tackle, unlike Chris Avalon from KOTOR 2, what in the world are you talking about? And why blame Lucas? He made the prophecy. You need to stop with all that. That's what I'm laying down. How about this? That's enough. This is Tarragon. Hey, what's going on? And thank you so much for listening. And you can comment, comment, comment. And I am out this piece.